I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. When I was down at Burgess Antiques, John dropped off a couple of saws that he'd like to have sharpened. This one is a pruning saw. It cuts in reverse. Instead of a push saw like most of the saws that you're going to see in the U.S., this is a pull saw like a Japanese saw. It also has very aggressive teeth and it's designed to cut through soft gummy wood that's still wet, a live tree. The first thing I'm doing is deciding the angles and making sure that I've got the geometry of the blade figured out. Then I'm going to go through and clean the blade, get all the rust off of it, get it ready for sharpening. Then I'm going to sharpen it up, put the handle back on it, give it a coat of wax, send it back home to John. Now this saw is set up in, with teeth in groups of three. So I have this tooth pointing that way, the second tooth pointing towards me, third tooth pointing away, this tooth pointing towards me. So on this stack of three, I start with the tooth pointing away from me, and on this one, I start with the tooth pointed away from me. It's just the same. Center tooth is always pointed towards me. I just have one tooth out of this stack that's bent wrong. So I have to go through and set these teeth. That's okay. Now that I have a general plan of the teeth, I can start cleaning the blade. I'm starting to clean up the blade with 60 grit sandpaper. That way it doesn't clog up with all the rust and dust that's on a blade. After I've hit it with the 60 grit sandpaper, I'm going to use a rust removing wheel and, and smooth up the surface a little bit, then take it down to another finer wheel. If you don't clean the blade and just sharpen it, it's going to stick in the curve. So it's important to always get all the rust and sap and pitch off of it. Found this little nylon fiber cut brush. It gets down in the gullets and cleans out the gullets and takes all the rust out. Works a lot better than trying to do it by hand. And it doesn't damage the plate. Once I've got the gullets on the teeth cleaned out, I go over it with this blue wheel. The blue wheel doesn't really cut anything, it's more polishes, 
and it doesn't take off the patina off the blade, which is important for some people. Uh, it makes it so that the blade is nice and smooth and has a good finish. Then I want to go over it with a sandpaper one last time to make sure I got all the little edges and corners done. Blade cleaned off, and we'll sweep off all the grit off the bench. Get ready to do some filing. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.